Good evening, shoppers. Welcome to the Beautiful Things Explosion Collection number three on the GIB International Shopping Channel. So today, we're gonna be taking a little detour from our normal focus, and we're really gonna be exploring some uncharted territory today. We're gonna be entering the land of testosterone. Yes, you heard me say it. So what better of a show host to accompany me on this journey today than Peter Wittenstein. Welcome, how's it going, good to see you. So we hope you guys stay joined, stay tuned in for the whole 60 minutes. So we're gonna be welcoming our first model on stage. We wanted to give you men the ultimate look for when you are going on your first date. So with us today, we have our model Josh. Welcome up, Josh. Stunning. What girl would not just be so anticipatory for how wonderful this date is going to be with the Superman effect? Can you show them the Superman effect? Wow. Peter is going to talk a little bit more about this shirt. Here we go. Girls like mystery, right? Yeah. Inside, you don't know what's down here. You don't know what's going on inside of this trench coat. Take it off, you don't know what you're going to find, if that makes sense. So Josh, we have a question for you. You have the coolest clothes on planet Earth, but do you have a girl? Of course. No, you don't. Do you have a girl? And how are we going to fix that? Can you please send in our next guest? Come on send in. Send in our next guest. <laughs> Everyone give a warm round of applause. This is my former intern. I had to go retreat her from McDonald's because I had a pay raise for her. And this pay raise involves a delicious dinner at In and Out. Go oh. ahead and show her the Superman, the Superman effect. Go show her. Go. <laughs> We are paying for oh, an all inclusive <laughs> shared burger between these two and shared order fries. Burger. Heck, I might even throw a strawberry shake in there. You ah. can go and enjoy yourselves. Don't do anything I want to do. When's the wedding? Am I right? Okay, let's welcome in our next guest, Mr. Noel Mark. Come on down. All right, sir. Can you tell me a little bit about where you came from? From the hood, man. Well, that's right. Good job. That's right, Mr. Noel. But then you went to the clink. Well, yeah, that was a good thing. So, for all you ex homies, aka convicts out there, this is the style you're Stop looking for. Here. Step up, step up. Turn around. Yeah. yeah, 360. Wow. Don't worry. Inexpensive. You've got the mesh. To sport your look, you've got the camo so that you can, you know, go hunting with the, with the bros, not hunting people, hunting animals. And um, yeah, you're gonna attract ladies that don't care about your record. Yeah, you're gonna attract women that have that that reckless era. That reckless love. That reckless love. See, we used to think that the fishnets were for the ladies, but now fishnets on a guy. That is stunning. Fisherman of women. Woo! Okay, I'm free with us and welcome back to Alfred together. Ready? Welcome, welcome back, back, shoppers. shoppers. <laughs> so, we're going to be seeing our next model, and we wanted to add something that would really inspire you, bros, you dudes, on how to really show up for church. So, we're going to be welcoming our next model. Please give me a warm welcome for Mr. Oh my goodness. So, um, so the inspiration for this look, please just step forward, is what I like to call hot and cold. So the Bible says he doesn't want anything lukewarm. We need to be hot. So oftentimes when we're preparing our church outfits, I think we just go a little too understated. See, we don't want to distract, but you need to remember that you are a light on a hill. So really just strut your stuff. Just go in a little circle and show me. Wow, that 
is marvelous. Now back up, can I, I want to really bring focus to the star of this outfit, and that is his slippers. You can see these slippers are made out of genuine plaid. Now here's what we did. We went to the farthest, most deserted place, and there was a man in a shack and he was storing this, hoarding it for himself. It was worth millions. But we said, hey, the highest cause is manliness. That is the most important thing. And we spent three days pleading with him, telling him how that men in the US, they're just not manly anymore. And this plaid would help us to make them manly again. Yeah. So when you buy these slippers, you are enforcing that manly statement. Give us another walk, give us another walk. He's walking up to put his offering in the plate. Go, wow. drop it. Stunning. Boom. Oh my gosh. Boom. Was that a hundred? I think that was a hundred. Women's heads will turn in the pews. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Hey, he who's found a woman has found a good thing. Yep. I like it. Welcome back to the Beautiful Things Explosion Collection. Next up, we have Mr. Money Nathan Marks. Mr. Money, but when I was back there looking at Nathan and really just getting to know him a little better, I thought, you know what? This outfit says, man of many seasons. That has a deeper meaning. Go ahead and tell them what we discussed, man, man of many seasons. Man please. of many seasons. Well, you can go the route of like spice and that sort of thing. Yeah. You can also go the route of like winter, summer, fall, spring. So what you're showing to the ladies is that you are you have all in one. That she, you have everything she could ever be looking for, quite frankly. This man will reap so and sow So go at the and same go time. and look and stare into that camera and show them how this outfit has impacted you. Go ahead. Okay. I think we should break it down a little bit. Okay. We've got a lot of layers going on. First, what does the hat mean? What does this hat show? Me? I feel like the hat is showing potential for money making. <laughs> Like right. you want her to know that you are going to be bringing in the big bucks. Bringing in the cash, daddy's bringing home that bread every night. Well, I mean, you've also got complimentary colors going on here. You've got soccer and football. It keeps you looking up and down. You just, your eyes aren't looking at other people. You're like, wow, 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 wow. So while Mr. Wibizinski is bringing our next model on stage, I want to introduce you to some of these words that we've been tossing around, mostly sports that starts with Z, like Zinger and Xanax and Zany, Zimmer, Mark Zimmer. More than all of those words, the word zest, just straight zest. And we're not talking about lemon zest. Peter, what type of zest are we talking about? We're talking about human zest. Human zest, which this outfit displays better than we've ever seen displayed in an outfit before. No. Now, to mention, first of all, we have this plaid here. This is the same plaid from the batch that we retrieved earlier. So because of that, we're selling it at a reasonable price of $1,100. You can make a payment plan if you need to. Um, Peter's gonna talk about the rest of the outfit. Yeah, so we see here the pants. He's directly neglecting um, from the high ankle down. Um, he's done this because he shaved a little bit too high and he thought, why not show off more of the smooth skin? Um, it also aerates his half its foot. Human odor has really been mismarketed and if yeah. you can just allow your natural odor to... <laughs> zest out. Zest out. Human zest. Remember, like when you zest a lemon, you this smell it. When you zest a human, you smell it. And that's what we really wanted to capture with this outfit. Just go ahead and just flap your wings. Flap the zest. Woo! <laughs> okay. So we're welcoming our next model on the stage. And um, they're taking a little while, so excuse me for this. Is our next model ready? Oh, here he comes. Get ready for this. Wow. Let's just give that a round of applause. So not only do these clothes move with you, which is unique to only our clothing, no clothing allows 
the mobility, the flexibility that our workout wear does. We couldn't help but include something for you to work in because you cannot be fully manly unless you were doing moves like these every single day at the gym. Something else that we've added here is a little word I like to call imprints. So what, we, what we're imprinting right now is an image on people's heads. When you're at the gym, you don't want to be showing them who you really are because you might not be at your goal yet. You want to imprint who you want to be. Right. You want to imprint that, that lion mentality. Okay. What imprint you means that you are showing people your truest self beyond what your physical body displays. And Peter's going to talk about when we actually took a trip to the gym. Do you remember that trip that we took when we were looking for inspiration? Right, so we walked in and, and you know the goal of working out sometimes is to really find your center, right? You can tell that this is a guy that's been centered and you can tell that it's just blossoming. It's extending forth out to any, for everyone in the gym to see. This lion shows that he's the head of his tribe. He's the head of his workout tribe. He's got the mane. The mane. As his crown. And the mane extends. The mane actually goes from about here all the way, 10 feet back when you're wearing this shirt. It has a marvelous effect. The mane will transcend, and this is something that either attracts or deflects. So, you know, sometimes you can draw people to you with it, but sometimes you gotta get that bike and you need someone off it now. Right. You, does this look like a face that you're gonna not give you the bike to? This is the I'm roar. pedaling, I'm running. Can you roar for us? <laughs> what? Hey, welcome back shoppers to the Beautiful Things Explosion Collection number three. We've just finished viewing Quite frankly, I think the best collection I've By far. ever laid eyes so on. So what? It's only one I've ever done. Never. And it will never be done again. So put your money in the right place. Put your money where the passion for your manliness is. Mm. And uh, with that, I think we have some special news. Take it away. Take it away. Uh, got this ring crafted from uh, my Nana herself. Aww. <laughs> and uh, <gasps> will you marry me? <laughs> Remember the money. Yes. Yay! Yes. We had so much fun with And they said today. love wasn't blind. Love is never blind. Don't spare your pockets. Give it all for the cause of manliness. And on. Oh. <laughs> you with our prices. Um, we wanted to take a little minute to... Oof. I thought like like we've we've known each other for like a long enough that I should take it like can drink or drink, right? The, the, does the word germs mean anything to you? Does the word a ton of milk mean anything to you? Uh, so uh, we actually have some news. Yeah, uh, we got a discount. Coming soon. Um, Included with an, an instructional workout video. Model. I want to talk about how we were inspired by this look. And when we were working on these plans for these beautiful ensembles that you see here, the inspiration for this one was if I could have a vacation. So now Josh is going to show you the Superman effect. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I say the Superman effect, okay, what are we doing today, Peter? 
We're going to be looking at some outfits, looking at some trends of the modern era, hoping to break through some walls of your insecurities. I could have said better myself. So, we are going to welcome our models back on stage. Let's give them a round of applause. Not two. Oh my god. But y'all are supposed to say that with us. You didn't say that. We didn't say that. Yeah. 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 Please don't promise in your head. Don't try Wait, to you're lower. You're lower. Don't fly on the set. No flat. Yeah. You don't have to stick to the same word. Three. Sort of. Um, five. Three. Oh my two. god. For us? Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Immediately off the weight machines. I'm, <laughs> I'm dropping. I just broke my toe. Nice. That dumbbell just collapsed the on line. my My neck is broken on the dumbbell machine right the now. Line is if he walked up to that, I would not only run, but I would report him to the front desk. We're the only people that have have put print on shirt in such an intriguing <laughs> way. <laughs> as it was for us. For us. 